JR Hartley's success in fly fishing yesterday. I have all the gear and no idea and no doubt I will not catch anything. But at least I don't have to carry a hippopotamus across the water this time. <laughs> I'll be back with our supper. That's what you think. Good luck. Have a good one. The water's a bit deeper than it was yesterday when I had to carry Joe across. It'd be ironic if I drowned. I'm sure Joe will find it funny. Not too deep then. The ironic though, isn't it? Can you imagine the news headlines? Water rescuer expert drowns going fly fishing. Just walking down the beach to where that guy was fishing yesterday. Obviously I come the short route through the uh, water. So my boots are never gonna dry even though they are rotten. I can't believe it, that guy looks like he's still here. Probably somebody else. The guy, Paul, who was fishing there yesterday, he's just caught another one. And he said he caught ten yesterday in the end. We saw him caught four or five. Nice fish! Really? Yeah. I just think you're lucky. <laughs> you need to buy a lottery ticket tonight. <laughs> and just remember when you win, it was me who told you to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have caught on every fly you've put on there. Um, well, certainly had a take on it, yeah. I think if, if there was a shoal of them, you're in again. I've been fishing here now for hours. <clears throat> Paul, or J.R. Hartley as I called him in my last video, he caught three, three fish today. Um, I haven't caught any, but there's two massive mullets that are swimming up and down. We just, Tad's just starting to come in again now. And they're actually that big, the wake of them is actually washing either side of the bank. And I've been chasing them up and down with a fly, trying to catch them, and they're just not interested at all. I'll see if I can catch them on video. Oh, here they come. There they come. I don't know if you can see that now, but in the middle here, you see these ripples in the water at the end of my rod where I'm pointing. That's two big fish. Here they come. Look at that. They're actually lifting their head out of the water. And for the life of me, I've put a fly next to him time and time again and I can't get any interest out of them whatsoever. There they are. Can you see them in the water there? Swimming towards us. been doing that for hours and driving me mad. I can't get a fly, I can't get interested in a fly. I've tried every fly I've got. Even Paul when he left he gave me a fly that he'd caught a few fish on today. There they go again look off of the like Moby Dick.
phone in my hand trying to film them. I've been doing that for hours, driving me mad. I think I might come back with some dynamite or a net. Back over there again now, look. Well, after a long day's fishing, probably about five hours, I've given up. Those two bloody mullets, that was massive. Never seen how like it. They just keep trawling up and down. <sighs> but I couldn't catch them. Anyway, let's go back and have a beer. See what Joe and Louie's been up to. It's a lovely day again though. Look at that. <sighs> well, I've had a good day. I must have spent about five or six hours there. Didn't catch a bloody thing. Paul who was with me, the guy who was there yesterday, who I named J.R. Hartley, he caught three or four. And yesterday he caught ten before he went. I thought he'd been there all night. I've now got a small beer. <laughs> That's quickly disappearing. And um, I just hope my videos come out of those monsters that was going up and down the river. I have also spent the day in my, my boots that have fallen apart. They don't smell good at all now. <laughs> so, I think it's beer, shower and food. Pizza. Pizza tonight, is it? Pizza and chips. Are we going to pizza or are we having it here? I think we might go to the pizza place. Okay, we need to go soon then, don't we? Mm-hmm. Has Louis been a good boy without me? He's been a lovely boy. Shall we go? Are you darling? Even with all that fly fishing today and Paul stood next to me catching fish, as he left, he gave me his fly mm -hmm. and he said, hey go, use that. So I spent another two hours after he left with his fly in the same position, still didn't catch bugger all. Strange, isn't it? I don't know. Oh well. It's a good job there's pizzas here. What do you think, Lou? Yeah? Good boy. So Joe, we're having chips tonight, I understand, and pizza. Can you just explain to me your plan for getting the pizzas and chips back to the camper van? <laughs> plan is, you're going to get my bike off the back of the van. I'm going to take a bin bag to ask them to put them in that and I'm going to put them on the pannier rack. This is the pizzas and I'm going to tie them on with this. <laughs> But at least if they're in the bin bag, if this don't work and the pizzas fall off the back of the bike, then at least we'll, it will mush them up a bit, but we might still be able to eat them. <laughs> what do you think? Good plan? What are you doing with the chips? They can go in my rucksack. Oh, right, chips. okay. But do they do chips? Yeah, they do chips. Are you sure? I checked. Yeah. Are you okay. sure it didn't say potato wedges? No, it's chips. Okay. So... So I'm going to ride down to the village, which will take me about 10-15 minutes. Um, so it's downhill and then it's up a hill. But hopefully I'll be able to um, tie them on with it. And if that works, for the rest of the week, you could be the pizza, pizza delivery, delivery to the campsite. Yeah. If it doesn't work, there's going to be a bit of a mess in a, I'll in, get a, spoon in a couple ready. of boxes. <laughs> a spoon. <laughs> so, Joe. Are you set for the mission? Yep, get in there. Safety helmet. Safety helmet. Check. <laughs> Panniers. Check. Extra pizza straps. Extra pizza box straps. Don't forget the chips. Got my rucksack for the chips. No, we might leave if you forget the chips. Good luck out there. I'll be back. 
Do you know where you got your money? Yeah, I've got my purse. Do you know where you're going? Yeah. See you later. To the village. I'll be back. Go on then. <laughs> I don't think you're in a mother. Last time we saw her. But she don't come up that hill as fast. And in the distance, she appears, the hunter-gatherer. She's smiling. Had the pizzas intact? Has she got chips? These are the biggest questions. Yeah. Just. <laughs> All right. Yeah, good. They look like they've survived. I think they have. It was a bit fast on the way back down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> It's in one piece. And it's in one piece. Excellent. Did they do chips? No. What? Wedges only. <laughs> Even though the menu just say chips. You're joking? No. Oh. Sorry, Louis. Sorry, Louis. Second day in a row. <laughs> do you want a wedge, Louis? Mm, nice oh dear. He's not impressed. Is it good? Mm, it's very nice, thank you. So what's your conclusion to the pizzas then? It was really good, yeah. I managed to get them back in one piece. Is this a new career for you? What, pizza delivery? Yeah. No, I don't think I'll bother. No? No. I quite liked it on my bike. It was beautiful and it was fantastic coming back down the big hill. So, chips. Another day without chips. Well, on their menu, it says chips, but well, it says fries actually. But then when I got there, she said, oh, we don't do chips, we only do um, wedges. So I said, oh no. Anyway, we had the wedges and they were nice. So. It's a bit different when the tans in. Yeah.